ruined the film for me! Poison stick, wrath and spite! Will you survive the shadow of the eye? Will you survive the black of the night? Kick of the rising, we're caught in my eyes! Hello, guys! You know, it's been a while since we've taken a look at a Godzilla film. I've done reviews of the god-awful Emirates Shite Fest, which is debatably even a Godzilla film. The last Godzilla film to ever be released by Toho, where Godzilla, Stalin and Neo join forces to fight aliens. And of course, the newest American film, where Brian Cranston beats the shit out of Godzilla with some meth. Uh, that's what happened, didn't it? So I think I'll check out an older film. Let's just hope it ain't as silly as that Gamera film I looked at a while ago. <laughs> Fantastic! Right, let's do this! Godzilla vs. Megalon. Godzilla vs. Megalon tells the story of an undersea civilization which wants to destroy mankind for using nuclear weapons. You'd have thought mankind would have stopped using nukes after fucking creating Godzilla, but you know. The civilization, known as Seatopia, seriously fucking Seatopia, are you fucking kidding me? Why not call it something like Oceanopolis? Or fucking Atlantown? Or what about fucking water? Oh right, shit, that's already been done. So Seatopia, <laughs> fuck, want to steal a humanoid robot that some scientist and his mates are building so that they can control it into leading a giant monster to attack him what they tell it to. The fuck? The scientists decide to call the robot Jet Jaguar. Why? What possible reason could you have to name your humanoid robot that constantly creepily smiles after a fucking Jaguar? And they never explained this. Jet Jaguar was actually the winning entry in a contest to design a robot superhero, akin to Ultraman. When he was created by an elementary school student, he was named Red Arrow. I don't know what the fuck is a better name to be honest. Look how fucking stupid this thing is. Why has he got a cone in his head? Why is he wearing pants and no trousers? So not only does the scientist amazingly build a robot, but he also builds a fucking superhero robot. And that's not all! Jet also gets the power to change size, for no apparent reason other than that he decided he fucking needed to. He can shapeshift just because he fucking wants to. How about if I decided that I wanted a beer with one just... Do not question the old gods! All in all, Jet Jaguar is a fucking hilarious thing. And I love to see him in the new Godzilla films. Some of the fan art I've seen could make for a great enemy to the big G in any new films. Especially if he still has his shape changing abilities. Did you know that in Germany he was fucking named King Kong? Why the fuck was Jet Jaguar named King Kong? Screw Transformers, Jet Jaguar is the real king of giant robots. He should team up with Optimus Prime one day. Can you imagine how awesome that'd be? Jet Jaguar, we need to stop the Decepticons. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Shrink in size and then have someone sing as us? Yeah, you're fired. Megalon is the baddie summoned by the Seatopians. He's one of the most noticeable Godzilla villains, looking like a cockroach with a star on his head. He can shoot lightning bolts from his horn, as well as spit bombs, and has his spinning drills for hands. I wish this guy was in Final Wars, rather than the other bug thing. Godzilla appears right at the beginning, and right towards the end of the film. You think the 2014 Godzilla film is bad for having too much Godzilla tease? In this, he roars at the beginning, and then fucking shows up for the final fight, then leaves. Great! A Godzilla film that focuses on the Power Rangers stupid robot cousin, fantastic! He's extremely obviously a bloke in a suit. At one point he actually catches fire, which would be a great way to die in my opinion. Hello my son, how is it that you perished? I was set on fire whilst dressed as a giant reptilian monster whilst trying to save a shape-shifting robot from a giant bug thing with drills for hands. Jesus fucking wept! What I'm trying to say is the suit he's wearing looks slightly funky. Godzilla has big dumb eyes and looks more like a Pokemon than a Kaiju. <laughs> Apparently it was made in a week. A week! The fastest a Godzilla suit has ever been made. When he meets Jet Jaguar, apparently they can fucking communicate even though they just do fucking hand signals at each other. Jesus, why did nobody think robots can communicate with lizards? Well, now we know. Jet Jaguar was actually supposed to be the main character of the film, but Toho didn't believe he'd be able to carry the movie on his own. They were right. So Godzilla was sent in to make sure this movie got the cash. And you can tell he's not having this fucking crazy robot out camp him. He's the king of the monsters. So what does he do to beat Jet Jaguar? What is this bullshit? Because he's getting bad so badly, the Seatopians contact aliens to give Megalon some backup. Apparently they can do this. And who do they send in? Well, it'd have to be fucking Giger to make me even consider- OH MY GOD IT'S GIGER!
Gigan, fuck yeah! Gigan comes in and even metal on her like, yeah, let's fuck it up! I'm Gigan, I got a fucking sword in my belly, I got fucking laser eyes, I got a fucking cooks for hands, man! No one messes with Gigan, yeah! Now it's two on two, and it's a pretty cheesy but decent monster battle. Let them fight. Godzilla and Jet Jaguar have a handshake and then go their separate ways, with Jet Jaguar's theme song playing as he walks off. Of course, Godzilla had his theme tune, but they didn't want to show it for some reason. And that's the last time Jet Jaguar and Megalon ever appeared in a film again. That makes me quite sad, actually. This is not a film you can sit through if you're not pissed. However, if you are pissed, it's fucking hilarious. But I've got to give Godzilla vs. Megalon two Godzilla drop kicks out of five Godzilla drop kicks. Honestly, I was pretty bored by this film. Not even Gigan could save it. It did have some entertaining moments, but meh, I actually like Gamera vs. Garon better than this. It was more over the top stupid, and it actually had better side characters. Anyways, please subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next week. Attention! The horror viewer is going on holiday next week, so he won't actually see you then. We apologise for his lies. Goodbye!